Elizabeth McDonald, web reporter for GC42. And I'm here with Joffrey Black, the outgoing General Minister and President of the United Church of Christ in the USA. Commissioners to the 42nd General Council have voted in favor of being in full communion with the UCC USA. This is a new term, a somewhat unfamiliar term with many United Church people. What's involved in being in full communion? Well, it's a, it's a term that uh, we've been using for a while. We have full communion relationships with the uh, Protestant Church in Germany and with the Christian Church Disciples of Christ in the United States. Uh, it's a, something, a concept that came into being as we sought to have fuller ecumenical relationships with churches, partner churches, that would um, bridge a number of areas of mission and ministry and in a very intentional way. And uh, these full communion partnerships are uh, more robust than, say, an ecumenical relationship that might, we might have with a church um, that is a, um, a part of a council that we're a part of. Um, we also have full communion relationships with the Presbyterian Church USA, the um, Reformed Church in America, and with the, um, let's see, RCA, the Presbyterian Church, um, and there is another partner in uh, the Lutheran Church, the, the, uh, the Lutheran Church in the United States. So what is it about the United Church of Canada that was appealing, that made UCC USA want to come into full communion? Well, I think that... Um, one of the things that um, is appealing is that we share the same continent, I've said often. And we also share um, a passion for justice, um, and I think that's very evident that we knew that about the United Church of Canada through staff relationships that we've had over time. And we also um, share uh, a, a mission view, uh, a global mission view that is very compatible. These are all things that make us natural partners and the sense that um, you are a united and uniting church and um, that is, we are as well. And this bringing together of multiple um, faith traditions um, in one denominational family is something that we feel we have as a, a, in common with you that makes a relationship a natural that we would pursue. So what is it that you're hoping we might learn that we might uh, receive from the United Church of Christ USA? Um, I think I would say initially, we certainly think that, that you as we will benefit from being partners in advocacy for justice and peace, that uh, we are strengthened when our voices are joined together. And so I, I think that, that you might benefit from that. Uh, you might benefit from uh, the possibility that in the future, we may develop a mutual exchange and, and um, recognition of ordained ministries. That might be something that might be helpful to you. I think uh, there, it would be helpful to us to know uh, that we can have an orderly process to, for our clergy. Many of our clergy would want to be able to move in, into serving in Canada if possible, if needed, and so forth. So I think that, that that's something that th those are things that we can look forward to. There's real enthusiasm here at the 42nd General Council, a unanimous tell. vote, yeah. a standing ovation. But there will be another joint celebration, we were told, in October, right. involving people from both of our churches. Yes. Can you give us a, a look ahead? What can we look forward to? Well, uh, in these uh, informing uh, these full communion relationships, uh, this is both spiritual, it's theological, it's ecclesiological, it, it involves worship. and. and we always feel that it's important not only to have a, um, how should I say, a, a formal kind of voting um, governance relationship, but to have a liturgical celebration of the relationship. And uh, that's something that um, we, we believe should be a part of the wholeness of it. And so in October, 
we will now that the governance work is done, we will move to a liturgical celebration of the decisions that have been made and uh, and lay it before God for for God's affirmation in, in a very we've prayed about it already, but uh, we want to do something more robust with leadership from both uh, the United Church of Christ USA and the United Church of Canada together um, in a worship setting. We are anticipating significant change in terms of how we're organized, how we are church in, in this country. We're not sure how that change is going to take shape or how it will unfold. But it's sounding in what you're saying as if the United Church of Christ USA is uh, number one, no stranger to change, and number two, open to journeying together, even with, uh, with no clear roadmap of, uh, of what lies ahead. I'd say so. Uh, I've, I've been uh, enjoying listening to the conversations here at the General Council around the future and change. Uh, believe it or not, they are very similar to conversations that we have had, are having, and anticipate having. So, so having this dynamic of change as a part of us, that we expect that things will change, but we also expect that we will work together through to to be in relationship in the in the midst of the changes. We will learn from each other about those things um, and how to move forward um, um, effectively. I think that that is something that um, we can anticipate being mutually supportive of each other in the process. So, yeah. Joffrey Black, thank you very much. You're if you'd welcome. like to find out more about living into full communion with the United Church of Christ USA and other things that are happening at the 42nd General Council, go to gc42.ca.